Perhaps people who are horrified by the notions of a black girl playing Juliet in Romeo and Juliet might like to see the article I'm about to share and then remember that there are real people playing these roles and that that girl could be their daughter, their sister, and their wife, and that it's a real person, not just a name, but a human being. Romeo and Juliet, hundreds show support for actress abused online. Now, I've seen some of the stuff that's seen, seen sent to this young lady, Francesca Mo Widow Rivers, and some of it's absolutely vile. I wouldn't read it out because if I was to start reading it out and kept it up for a bit, YouTube would probably ban me because I think I was supporting it. Hundreds have signed an open letter in solidarity with a black actress trolled with racist and misogynistic abuse. This young lady was tired online after she was cast in Juliet in a new production with Tom Holland. Um, uh, firstly, these people are, you know, have they got nothing more useful to do? Secondly, if they don't want to watch the play, fine. If they think it's a controversial decision to have a black girl play Juliet, fine. No one is going out there with a shepherd's crook and pulling them into the theatre, are they? Um... I find the whole thing bizarre. That the whole thing should be judged on our acting skills. We are talking about the concept of acting. I doubt anyone playing in The Tempest is actually a magician, for example, or, the, or a monster. Or I, I'm sure the version of Venice has had Shylock played by many people who are not Jewish. It's called acting for a reason. I can think of numerous twists on Romeo and Juliet that use black, white, Chinese people or even mix up stories. I find this whole thing incredibly ugly that, and the idea that some people are, you know, so sad that they're going to start typing this sort of stuff as if though it's the end of British culture. The problem with it is the same people will be typing about, oh, it's disgusting, a black girl playing Juliet are the same sort of people who will be then telling us next week, black people, they don't go to museums, that lot. And they don't see the cognitive dissonance between the two. They don't see that, they, you know, if you want to involve people in culture, then make it open to everyone. To me, anyone who wants to pick up a book of Shakespeare and read it, feel free. It's there for anyone. Anyone who wants to act in a Shakespeare play, feel free. It should be open to anyone. Obviously, in the real world, unfortunately, we're not there yet. And Shakespeare and acting in Shakespeare is still seen as a badge of a somewhat elitist side of culture. But that shouldn't be the case. Shakespeare himself was writing plays that were populist. But the whole furore about this thing is really, is this, is this the biggest thing you've got to worry about, boys and girls? Is this the biggest thing you've got to occupy yourselves? Um, um, are you having a bubble? Are you off somewhere in some other space inside your heads is all I have to ask. I just I can't get the foray about it. I just can't grasp it in any way. If you didn't think she could act well, I might even be able to understand that, but it's the same as the foray about, oh, look, they've got a black boat playing Dr. Rue now. And it was like, yes, Anne. So what? That was my reaction to that, and it's more or less my reaction to this. Yes. So what? <laughs>